I feel like a little like a mess. I haven't done my hair. I just took a shower. I went to fucking work. But yeah, so it's been a minute since I've decided to upload anything. I did this badass story. It's like badass. Like you guys are gonna be so motivated. You guys are gonna be so amped. You guys are gonna be like, shit, I wanna do that, you know? So here it is, you guys ready? <clears throat> so the reason why I started working out was cause I was a fat. Nah, I'm just kidding. I did it cause I wanted to get bitches. Just kidding. Uh, but no, I actually wanted to look like freaking. <laughs> I wanna look like damn Zach Efron. Ain't that ain't that shit funny? <laughs> My ugly ass wanna look like him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. That is why I wanted to do it. I wanted to have his body type because obviously if you females know who the guy is, which I hope you guys do because half of the world wants his ass, you know what I mean? So I was like, damn, that must feel good, you know, to be wanted by that many people or females. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's mainly the reason. Other than that, I mean, I wanted abs. I guess I wanted to look good. I wanted to be that, that muscular guy. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I can't tell you guys that I had that I was fat. I was, you know, anything because I was, I was honestly pretty skinny, like a regular kid. You know, I was I didn't have many muscles. I was not a big person, but I was pretty skinny. I um, started high school freshman year. Did nothing. Just went played sports. Just played soccer and volleyball. That's about it. And then I think. The summer, no, the summer before my sophomore year is when I started working out. Or it was probably right in the middle between like my freshman year, like right right around there. But definitely was working out afterwards. Holy shit. But yeah, I was definitely working out afterwards. Um, and from there, it, it was starting to be a hobby and a hobby that I liked. And then it turned into a, a passion after I found people that had the same motivation, had the same kind of goal. And from there, they obviously people teach you or you can go out of your way and find out. But as much as, um, you know, as much, as much as I love it, you know, there's obviously other things that need to be, you know, you know, be done before I can say like, oh, I know everything, but I still don't. So I'm not saying I know everything. I know like what to do. Like, no, like I'm still probably like, in my very first stepping stone to to where I want to be um, but as far as you know passion wise and hobbies and stuff like that like I consider this to be like my main priority like this is my schedule for a day uh, my schedule for high school when I was in high school it was obviously go to school from I think we started at like 8 8 to 315 from 3 15 4 o'clock i would play or i would practice soccer or volleyball whatever season it was from that time to six from getting home i would go straight to the gym and you know work out from six to oh god i'm fucking tired it shouldn't be because i fucking woke up pretty at a decent time but um but yeah so from six, or I would say from probably like six thirty, because I was used to walk, you know, to school and then from school home. Um, but because I was going with my mom, I would have to wait on her, you know, and I would also have to leave with her because obviously I don't have no ride. But once I got my vehicle, which was when I, you know, started college, that's when you know everything started being, being a little bit more flexible. But obviously I had work school and college and i started working when i was in high school my junior year i believe yeah like around my summer um so i did that and then uh next thing you know uh, i'm here now i have a decent weight i'm still weighing in at once around like the 160 ish i'm trying to gain, gain some weight uh my long-term goal is 200. my short term is obviously 180 and then just slowly, you know, getting up there. But I'm in a pickle because I cannot leave 160. I'm like, my body loves 160, you know. But I'm not going to lie. I feel I feel good, you know, 
I want to say I like my physique at 160 because I, I always think it can always be better. And it's probably because I'm only working on like my actual, you know, what looks important. So my abs right now are like shit. I can tell you that my chest needs a lot of work. Um, but other than that, you know, that's the goal for 2019, just to have a, a good package. Um, maybe soon, and I'm thinking about, you know, competing that's in my head, but it's not a priority that I want just because it does, you know, you need to be very, very dedicated. Uh, you need to be on top of your shit. You know, shout out to everybody that is doing it. Shout out to some of the guys that I know that personally do uh, compete. Uh, whether it be powerlifting or um, bodybuilding, and it, it's, I think it's you know badass you know to do all that shit because you know it kind of brings you back to that if you were in any type of athlete, basketball, soccer, volleyball, wrestling, whatever it is, like it brings you back to that mentality. Um, but it just now like requires food, uh, you know, working out and training. Oh my. God, fuck, I'm fucking yawning like a bitch. Hope you guys are not yawning. <sighs> but yeah, so, I mean, that is what the plan is. But all my overall 2019 goal is, you know, just to um, level up my physique, um, to co be consistent with this um, channel. Uh, and yeah, you know, just make bigger moves this, uh, this year. Um, but yeah, that, that is my story. That is my story and my goal for 2019. Hopefully with these videos, I can at least, you know, help you guys, you know, motivate you guys somehow or show you guys new um, workouts um, or different ways of, you know, uh, putting workouts together. Because like I always say, I never have a routine that I always do. I always go by how my body feels. So hopefully, you know, if I can have someone that records Fuck. Um, but yeah, so if I can have someone that, you know, can record my stuff, and you know, I'll definitely always put that stuff up there just because I hate, you know, I mean, I used to do it all the time, but I always hate when, you know, I have my my phone or camera or whatever it is, um, just like on like a weight, you know, or a dumbbell or something, and it just looks straight. It doesn't look, how would I say it? It doesn't look natural, I guess you could say. But overall, I mean, you know, <sighs> that is my uh, my goal. I said that before, um, and hopefully, you know, like anything else, like you know, I can help you guys, and that's that's the main thing. Um, All right, guys, I'm here with the commentary. Uh, as you guys can see, this is the cable fly. Uh, difference is I'm on my knees. This kind of prevents you from using your body to help you move the weight. Uh, instead, it's gonna make your chest do all the work. Um, with this, I like using this one for my last uh, workout just because uh, if your body or if your chest is completely dead, you are gonna do whatever you can to milk it uh, and get some really good uh, reps and a good pump. Uh, with this one specifically, I changed up the grips. Uh, so you're targeting your upper chest and also uh, change it up a bit and use like uh, a neutral grip that normally you would use uh, just to like kind of confuse the uh, the muscles and that's the killer workout right there. All right, and now we're on a whole nother day. This is Saturday, leg day. Uh, starting, out with, starting out with stiff leg deadlifts with an elevation to it, really concentrating on the stretch coming down, taking my time. And then on top of that, you know, I love doing it just cause it adds, you know, a bunch of mass to your legs um with this upcoming one this is the leg extension this is a whole superset right here so starting out with three workouts regular leg extensions and then we're going to be alternating legs um and then uh we're going to be doing toes pointed uh inwards just to get the outer head but i love doing these if you are doing legs really concentrate on the squeeze that's what's gonna you know that's what's gonna kill you every single time and really separate your muscles and you're gonna really start seeing the separations um but this is a killer workout if you really want to you know emphasize your legs and you know make them pop out so with this one right here this is a bicep workout this one is killer if you guys try this out i guarantee you a full pump uh try it out um by you know my last few sets i could not um 
I could barely even do my my last reps, you know, my last five that I needed to get done. Killed me, uh, but definitely recommend. Definitely, you know, have that mind muscle connection to get that really really good pump. It's a really great way to you know enhance your vascularity if you really want that. Uh, so check these workouts out. What's up, you guys? What it do? What's up? I know it's been a minute since I uh, uploaded anything, but to be honest, I have a boring ass life. I mean, I don't really do nothing. Like Saturday, I don't really do much. But uh, I hope you guys like what I had just put out. So, besides the the footage that I shot, um, yeah. So as you guys know, I haven't really uploaded anything. You know, um, the the stuff that I put on the video. You know, those are the main things that I usually do on those specific days. So if I got legs, chest, arms, I'm definitely gonna be doing that workout some you know somewhere along that along that time frame that that i'm in the gym uh but besides that you know i hope you guys liked it to be honest i hope you guys like the commentary um i know this is my first one um doing it because i i've done you know voiceovers before um uh, in high school but it's been a minute it's been like almost like i feel like five maybe six years already or i can't even say that shit. i'm not that fucking old um, it's been a minute, let's just say. It's been a minute. I have a goal in mind, like how I said in the beginning. I wanted to look like Zac Efron. You know, that's still funny to me. I can't believe I wanted to look like him. But that was my goal. You know, my goal is to have abs. My goal is to have a body like his. You know, um, and I've, and I, I've kind of met that goal. But, you know, it takes time. It took me probably like five, six years to get where I'm at. And I still don't consider myself... A fucking elite you know you know it takes a long time and I'll remember I'll forever remember this quote that my uh, anatomy teacher gave me he said he was like um, he went to school and he always bragged about him you know making six figures and you know don't get me wrong shit if I make six figures too I'll fucking brag my life away cuz you know you worked so hard but his quote was or his words were you need a let's just say from you need to start here so this is his his starting point for his major or for all his knowledge this was his starting point his first class let's just say science right or math i should say so you need to know this math the starting math this science uh this bot this biology you know you need to start right here you need to end all right here, everything in between. Let's just say it's fuck like that's already six years already of your life, you know, learning everything you need to know. And this is your graduation point. Maybe a little bit more if you want to, you know, be certified or something, you know, more knowledge. So you need to know all this, all this. I wish I had like a little drawing stick or whatever. But you need to know all that to answer a question that only asks you for this much, for this much of knowledge. So that also you know applies to um i i feel like the gym can apply apply to more things you know but if you don't know this much of something then you won't know how to answer this much of the same you know question you know retains to the gym because for example if you don't know how to hit biceps or if you don't know workouts to hit biceps or triceps or let's just say the whole arm shoulder uh bicep tricep maybe forearms if you don't know how to hit any of those in different ways you need to find a way to to hit those things and remember them in and always think around the box or let's just say outside of the box you know you need to know inside of the box and outside of the box and even tear that shit up like fucking bow Wow said in tokyo Drift, if you know what i'm talking about uh, but that is very true and i always remember that like thank god you know i had him as a teacher even though he you know his class was hard as fuck because i think i got a d in his class but he helped me out um as much as he could you know as a teacher but if i could take anything away is that quote and like i'll forever remember it i'll you know you know share that with anybody that ever asked for any advice because it does apply to almost about everything and you know thanks to him you know i'll remember that um, and as far as, you know, you know, helping everybody go, you know, someone can give you something like my guide or, you know, a routine, but you need to do the extra work to want to hit that goal. So if my, if my routine that I give you 
is going to get you there. You need to apply the extra knowledge that you retain from Instagram, YouTube, observing people that are at the gym or observing me when I'm at the gym. Like some people, you know, that's what I did. I always observed, I always looked up. If I wanted that goal, I needed to get there. I was gonna find a way and get it. And maybe because I found that way was because I loved it and wanted it so much. You know, I did what I needed to do. And you know, um, I'm knowledgeable of certain things. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know a bunch of shit, but it got me to where I'm at. So that's what people need to do in order for them to get to their goal. And like, to be honest, there's so much stuff that you can look up. Anybody can do it. Literally anybody can do it. You just gotta be, stay consistent. You just gotta want it. You gotta stay hungry. You always gotta put that image in your head. Hope you guys like this video. You know, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do, share it. You know, if you guys liked it, if you guys wanna, you know, uh, see something else, you guys wanna, you know, see more like strictly only bicep workouts, you guys wanna see maybe something like this. You know, me recording a whole week, but different uh, variations of hitting, you know, chest, shoulders, you know, something. Let me know in the comments down below. Or if you guys like my motivational speaking, I don't know. Like, I'm, t I feel like I'm bad at it. But overall, I just want to say shout out to all my 34 subscribers. Shout out to you guys. I appreciate you guys. It's small, but I appreciate it. It's a start. Hopefully, we get the ball rolling even better. Um, but overall, I just want to say thank you. And you guys have a good one.